Hi, and welcome to Bear Van Sham's Adventures. Today, we have come back to Greenwich, but we are going to explore the Queen's House and the Maritime Museum. Museum. It's free entry. You must purchase the tickets online beforehand. If you've not been before, it's recommended to head into here, into the Voyager or Room First or Sammy Offer Wing. Let's go take a look in here, Let's see what we can see. Miss Britain the third. It's the fastest boat to exceed 100 miles an hour in salt water back in 1933. Miss Britain the third raced against Miss America the tenth in the United States, and it weighed 1.5 tons. Now the Americans boat, Miss America 10, weighed seven tons. Take a look around for more. So this is on the ground floor of the museum. So it's coming up to the figureheads. So it's said that the figureheads developed from an ancient tradition of decorating vessels, especially at the front, so you'd find these mainly at the front of the vessel. So the Prince Frederick's barge. It is spectacular. So it was completed in 1732 and has would have had 12 oarsmen to steer So it was last used by Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, in 1849. The original oars are still in place. Baltic Exchange Memorial Glass. So 
our next stop, Atlantic Worlds. So these are leg irons, these shackles were used to restrain captive while on board ship. They could be fitted over the ankles or wrists. So neck and leg and ankle irons. So these would have been used on board slave ships. Pretty sad, really. Or a slave ship. <laughs> so we're now heading into Pacific Encounters. So here is the entrance to the Maritime Museum and then I about a couple of minutes walk with amazing views of Prime Meridian or the Royal Observatory and then we've got the Queen's House. Both are free entry to the museums but you must purchase or get the tickets online in advance. So let's go and explore the Queen's House. So we're just following the path around each of the rooms. It's a one-way system so oh, Sammy has gone all the way through. So the Queen's House was a former royal residence and a birthplace for King Henry VIII, Elizabeth I and Mary. But it now holds some of the most beautiful artwork and captivating architecture. So continue watching while we take you around the Queen's House. House was an intended gift to King James I's wife, Anne of Denmark. Sadly, she never got to see the finished design, 
as she died before it was completed. Many of the rooms we explore in the Queen's house were former bedrooms, dressing rooms and wardrobes. These are pretty big wardrobes compared to what is in our house. There are a few artwork to look out for, but the most famous on display is the Armada portraits of Queen Elizabeth I, who was born in the original Greenwich Palace. While admiring the paintings, move your gaze up to the marvellous ceiling design. Now it isn't clear who painted it, but what is known is the name. Aurora dispersing the shade of the night. In the Great Hall, the centrepiece is the delightful gold leaf ceiling fresco. You must look up to see it. Did you see any artwork that's caught your eye? Let us know in the comments below. One of the most popular Instagrammable images is the tulip stairs. The staircase is the first self-supporting spiral stairs in Britain. Take the perfect picture at the bottom of the staircase as you look up. The bright blue rails stand out from the pure white stairs, with the light pouring in from the window at the top. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the National Maritime Museum and the Queen's House in Greenwich. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that bell to receive notifications and we look forward to seeing you in our next adventure.